So peeps, what's going on Gavin here? Welcome to episode 4 of my player mode playthrough on FIFA 13 whilst I'm on loan at Northampton Town and first of all we have three games today. We have an away match at Bristol City, we also have a home match against Port Vale Town I think they are and also a home game in the Capital One Cup against Aston Villa. So uh, straight from the, the kickoff, Akin Fenwa puts in a transfer request which I'm pretty unhappy about because I really like Akin Fenwa. I actually respect him quite a bit but he did put a, ha a transfer request and he does want to leave the club uh, which really sucks but never mind um, going into the first game Akin Fenwa does start the game regardless of him putting in the transfer request and uh, straight from kickoff in the first minute I actually go for a nice little ambitious attempt but nothing really comes from it and then uh, later on in the game uh, Akin Fenwa has a nice little attempt but uh, just puts it past the pause not really very much accuracy on it and then uh, we do get a penalty uh, in the, the 30th minute uh, 30th odd minute I'm not really quite sure but uh, Kenneth just really took it on our shirt just pushing us to the ground to grab us that penalty and it also gets booked in the process which is always nice to see justice has been done and uh, pretty much uh, I do actually step up for the penalty and uh, pretty much I miss it yeah I miss it uh, which is quite quite bad but yeah Akin Fenwa had another little attempt there but uh, pretty much just before half time Akin Fenwa puts a, a nice little effort into the back of the net uh, to make it 1-0 to us just before half time it's also it's always good to score just before half time get the confidence up and uh, the morale up for going into the dressing room at half time and uh, it was a nice uh, well took finish from Akin Fenwa uh, keeper had a nice little attempt to get it but couldn't really do much with it and that was pretty much half time nothing really much Bristol Rovers were doing uh, they do make a substitution, <laughs> a substitution at half time and uh, pretty much uh, my player has a nice little attempt on goal but it, uh, it is turned around the post by the keeper and uh, there's a few more substitutions being made by both sides and uh, we also make another substitution and then in the 74th minute my, pr <laughs> my player can't really speak today uh, my player does eventually get his goal for the game and uh, pretty much takes it very very nicely just uh, finessing it past uh, the keeper uh, I'm not quite sure if he got in a, a touch there but never mind uh, and pretty much straight from uh, when I actually scored the manager does substitute me uh, substitute me I really can't speak today and uh, pretty much in the 90th minute Akin Fenwa puts a ball into the back of the net from a nice little pass along the box from Platt I think that was so it's always nice to see uh, us wrap up a nice game uh, 3-0 is always, always a, a nice victory to <laughs> to end on and uh, that was pretty much the game um, it was 3-0 so there's ni a nice 3 points to go on the uh, top of the leaderboard and there's a nice little review of the game um, so we are victorious over a 3-0 win and Akin Fenwa is uh, has gone to Charlton Athletic for a favour around 170,000 <laughs> there and uh, yeah so Charlton Athletic seal a £170,000 deal for Ad Bio Akin Fenwa I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his first name, but yeah, and also, can Nottingham live without Akin Fenway? So hopefully we can, and uh, we also see, uh, seal a deal f uh, with Jordan Sanderson for 60000 Uh It'll be a nice little addition, he's 19 year old, so. Uh, going into the next game against Port Vale, um, in the 20th minute, we do uh, put a really hard and fast cross into the box. Uh, it's along the floor and uh, my player just uh, pretty much scoops the ball up over the keeper and uh, makes us 1-0. It's always nice to get the early goals, um, puts a little bit of pressure onto the enemy, te uh, enemy team, the opposition team. And uh, pretty much that is all that happened in the first half. Nothing really much uh, happened or even like really fierce um, either keeper. Um, so it's pretty much a boring game. Nothing really much uh, really happened in both halves really just a few substitutions here or there and uh, pretty much in the 77th minute uh, we do actually eventually uh, score again my player with a nice little uh, attempt from outside the box and doing the good old muscle flex uh, celebration that Balotelli uh, has done previous and uh, it was a nice little strike uh, keep it outstretched um, and once again as soon as I score uh, the manager does take me off um, 
to bring another person on. But that was uh, pretty much that game. Nothing really else happened. It was 2-0 to us. So There's another nice little victory. And the manager praises my outstanding performances. It's always nice to hear that. Along with another match review of the Port Vale game. A nice uh, comfortable 2-0 victory over the Port Vale. So that, uh, good little three points to, towards uh, promotion. And also the England uh, qualifiers. The, the squad is out. Unfortunately we are not on it. But um, one of our players from Sunderland is Adam Johnson. And uh, Northampton are in talks with Cork City over O'Neill. Uh, so going into the third and final game against Aston Villa in the Capital One Cup. Um, we... We did uh, get off to a really good, uh, strong, strong lead uh, in the sixth minute, uh, hitting the post and uh, going past the keeper and in, um, which is always nice to get them early goals, as I said just previous. And uh, pretty much Aston Villa weren't really attempting to attack; um, they were just more of trying to hold on, on to possession and just like keep us out. Um, but with us always pressure and pressure and pressuring their defence. Um, it does eventually break down them, and uh, their defence just really split apart. For me to just uh, whip the ball straight past the keeper, I was actually surprised it went in because it was the keeper's knee post, which keeper should never be beaten at. But I'm not going to complain. It is two 0 to us at half time against Aston Villa, <laughs> so this is looking to be one of the upsets of the season. Um, a League Two side knocking out a Premier League club. Uh, Agbon Lahar has a nice little attempt there, but it is put just around the post. And uh, Darren Ben does come on for Ben Teke, um, and also we make a substitution as well. But then we do seal the deal in the 85th minute with a uh, sort of a fluky goal. Um, I just run the keeper, the ball just rolls underneath him and goes in. Uh, the keeper probably should have done a lot, lot better, but uh, I'm not going to really complain. It is 3-0 to us, and uh, some more substitutions try to waste some time. And uh, that was pretty much uh, this game. Uh, nothing else happened. We did win at 3-0, so it is one hell of an upset uh, to see a Premier League club be beaten by a League 2 side. And a nice little recap of the game right there. Um, so we go into the next round, but this is the league table as it stands. We are currently winning all five of our games. Uh, we are currently on top, leading by three points. But yeah, guys, this is coming up to the end of the video, so if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. And also, leave some feedback saying uh, if you do actually like the series, if you want more of it, then I, I will actually make more of it for you guys. Um, if you guys like it, I'll obviously produce it. And also subscribe, just so you don't miss out on any of the videos coming out in the future. So yeah, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.